Today I want to deal with God is forgiving. I'm still dealing with the character of God. And we're dealing with elements of God's character. So please get ready for this and take note. Romans chapter 3 verse 22 says this. Even the righteousness of God through faith in Christ Jesus, all to all and who believe. All right, that there is no difference. So in other words, God comes and he says, listen, I don't care whether you're a Jew, a Gentile, whoever you are. I am ready to forgive. I am ready to forgive you as long as you work through Jesus Christ. So what, G what God did, the Father did, He said, listen, I'm going to make a way. I'm going to make Jesus the Lamb that has to die once and for all. And thereafter, if anybody believes in Him, I will forgive them. Now, a lot of Christians just take this as a once-off event. All right, we do this as a once-off event. I'm now born again and I'm saved and I'm now going to heaven. I want to tell you right now, forgiveness is a daily occurrence. So many times we say things, we do things. You might be tired and you say something ugly to somebody. Or you break them down. Or you are harsh with somebody. Or you are busy concentrating and you said something that you shouldn't have. I want to tell you that's not even the stuff that we do. And some of the stuff that we do deliberately. But I want to say right now, saints, we need to clean up our act. And we need to understand that God is forgiving us. No matter what you have done, no matter whether it's something very severe or whether it's something very small in your opinion, God wants to forgive us. He's an all-forgiving God. And He wants us to have the best that He has for us. And so He is there for us. And He wants to forgive you. But the question is this. Two issues. One, if you don't ask for forgiveness, you're never going to get it. And if you don't forgive others, you're also not going to get it. And so when it comes to this idea of forgiveness, God's character is, is that I'm ready to forgive. Just come and ask. But you have to ask through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way that we come direct access to the Father. Amen? And so now, let us get into the, the table today. As we come around the table, let us thank God that He loves us. Let us thank God that He has forgiven us. That He has got us out of hell. He has forgiven us our deeds where we should be. In hell. And so right now I want us to genuinely come before God and say, God, thank you for forgiving me. And please forgive me of my daily errors. That's why we pray every single morning when I pray over the communion. I will always start with forgiveness. Because we have to ask God to forgive us our wrong way. Let's pray. Lord, I ask you right now to forgive us of any wrongdoing. Lord, any wrong thought, any wrong motive, any wrong action, any wrong intention. Lord, I ask you please to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. Lord, we come before you this morning. And we thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. That you care for us. And Lord, that you're going to do something amazing in each one of our lives. Lord, we ask you that as you forgive us, Lord, we will forgive others. Lord, I thank you that we stand pure and holy before you this morning. But God, I ask you right now to help us forgive others who have hurt us. Lord, others who have done us wrong. Lord, help us to not carry any of those resentments in our heart. And Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross and making a way that we can be forgiven. Making a way that even as Gentiles, we are connected. And Lord, I thank you right now that we can celebrate that God is not a respecter of person, nationality, tribe, tongue. But Lord, we thank you that you've made it clear how to get to the Father. In Jesus' name. 
And Lord, I pray right now that as we take of the elements, that you'll make yourself so real to each one of us in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for a physical healing to take place in our bodies. Lord, I thank you that by your stripes we were healed. And Lord, right now we claim that healing. We stand on that word. And Lord, we command every form of sickness to leave our body right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed. And Lord, that we walk in divine health because of the price that was paid for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Saints, isn't it amazing to know that we serve a God that forgives us? Man, I tell you what, can you imagine if He was not a forgiving God? Can you imagine the trouble we would have been in? All right, so I want to just tell you it's Thursday morning. It's a wonderful day to be alive. The Lord loves you and we love you too. And uh, so I want to just say that tonight is our teaching on the fellowship groups. And I want to just say this. Just to make it a bit easier for Pastor Donnie, and that there's a variety, we are going to use the teachings, some of them from uh, the college. So there's going to be four of us rotating the teachings on Thursday evenings. And so we're not teaching to the college. We are actually using those teachings for our fellowship groups. Okay? So tonight, we are going to be teaching at 7 o'clock, and at 7.30, we've got our facilitators training. And I personally will be running it tonight as Pastor Donnie is away. And so I am going to be there tonight. So please, if you're a facilitator and you join the facilitators training, please be ready at 7.30. I would love to chat to you and be there with you. Okay, so I'm going to be there at 7.30 tonight. So please get ready. It's going to be an awesome time just to be with the saints. All right. Let's get to pray. Man, I'll tell you what, it's so exciting when we pray and we see things happen. We are consistently bombarding heaven with our prayer life for our nation, for the economy. All right? And we are going to keep on going until we see the results. Because we are going to be consistent. We are going to be faithful. And we are going to push this thing through until we see a supernatural move of God in Jesus' name. Amen? So let's pray. Lord, we come before you this morning. Lord, we thank you that you love us so much. And Lord, we come and we lift up our businesses before you. God, I thank you that our businesses will be blessed because we are praying. And we as Christians are standing and holding up the altars. And Lord, we are creating blessing over our businesses in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you right now that you're going to do something supernatural in and through each and every believer in the businesses. Lord, we pray for our economy, that it will stand firm, stand solid, and grow in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we release the power of God and release the blessing of the Lord over our businesses, I thank you, Lord, for supernatural deals, divine connections, supernatural contracts. Lord, I thank you that we will see this economy blessed and prosperous. And Lord, right now we pray, for the blessing of Israel. Lord, we bless Jerusalem. We pray for Israel. We release the blessing over Israel. Lord, we pray for the battle in Ukraine. Lord, I pray for each and every believer. And Lord, I pray for their protection, provision, and guidance, and wisdom. Lord, that they'll be able to, and supply, that they'll be able to help others around them in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your blessing and anointing that flows in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, right now, we come against this COVID virus. We command it to die, to dissipate, to leave our nation. I thank you, Lord, that as we stand together, that our nation is open and free. God, I thank you that the state of disaster be nullified and taken off the table. And Lord, right now, I thank you that every single person be healed from COVID. In the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Right, folks, I want to remind you that our camp is filling up nicely. And I want to thank those that are helping me sponsor the young people. But please, let's get the word out there to as many young people. Get them on the camp. 
And then I want to remind you, we're also getting close to the time. Friday night, I'm in Durban. Okay, so please have a look and see if you can join me Friday evening at 6.30 in Durban North. And so Pastor Les and myself are going to be there. So please get ready. Join us. It's going to be an awesome time. I'd love to meet you. All right, where we can spend some time and get this army going in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's do our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, Policies and rules changed. Battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, I want to encourage you. Go out with might. Go out with valor. Go and do what God has called you to do in Jesus' mighty name.